Hey, this John here. I'm going to pull up three YouTube videos that I think are important information to pass on to you guys. Um, I've been sick all week again, and that's why I know a lot of you are writing me, why are you doing videos? Why are you doing videos? I just, uh, there's important information out there this time, at least. That's cool. But um, nothing exact or precise. And again, dealing with health issues. I was feeling really good for a little bit there, and now I'm kind of knocked back down here for a little while. Hopefully I'll... Re I'll recover, bounce back up, and everything will be great soon. But let's go ahead and do uh, money management. Although he does a lot of these spoiler things, which when I do, I get, that's clickbait. Well, I'm trying to get people to watch my video so we can pass on our message. So I might clickbait this one with something, you know, which are possibilities. But, you know, it's all conjecture, shit like that, you know, crap. Whatever. Let's start off with money management and his talk about the letter that Junk Savvy's talking about on, on X, which is important. I mean, we've got 89 congressmen, if, you know, just so you know, that are signing this letter. And well, let's see where we're at here. Uh, this uh, tweet was published by Junk Savvy just a couple of days ago. And uh, we know that we have an extension, and I covered it in one of my previous video. We have an extension uh, in the deadline uh, to add more Congress members, uh, basically to have more signatures of Congress members under this letter. And uh, for now, we have 89 total signatures, and it is still counting. And let me show you that uh, this tweet was made on December 27th. Well, this means uh, we have potential we have uh, more than 100 signatures already and i unfortunately i don't know the exact deadline of uh, this uh, extension period but definitely every second uh, counts and uh, in my opinion this is uh, the real breakthrough right. then he goes on and he's talking more about the trade station thing if you haven't heard about the trade station thing actually let's hear it from uh terry yonkers first ali's cool and all but you know. what Oh, wait a minute, you gotta have a five, ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, you get his five second commercial in addition What's to mine. What's up, Meta fam? Hope you all had a uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. <coughs> Excuse me, we get all these commercial things, probably zoomed right in on my face now, but... Hey, um, trade stations just admitted that they don't have the freaking shares. That's awesome. That, that's uh, definitely the beginning of something here, right guys? And we're getting into the new year. And man, we got breaking, 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 breaking news. Terry's That's excited right. about it. Uh, yeah. Wow, is all I'm going to say to this one. I did not, see, well, I, could, I can't say well, I did make, not see this. Make one. sure you go to Money Management and watch this whole video. It gives you a lot more details about what we were just talking about. I'm only doing little, uh, I don't know what you call them, little trailers of their videos and giving you the main part, the spoiler alert, I guess you could say. But. A trade station, this news has been out for a couple days now, and uh, they're just admitting defeat that they don't have the shares. <laughs> that means something, guys. We're getting closer. Coming because we all know that the brokerages were selling more <laughs> shares than what they had. We know the brokerages had counterfeit, naked, short, synthetic shares they did not have, and it appears today we officially have more evidence that another brokerage is out of shares. Beyond and evidence, that's we have an admission. Meta News here says breaking brokerage firm trade station confirms a share imbalance and potential counterfeit shares in MMTLP. And he has a nice summary here. And we will come back to the summary. Uh, An emission of illegal shares, guys. This is the beginning of something big. Uh, but the first thing I want to highlight out of the summary in my book, trade station is the first transparent broker to admit the counterfeit shares and MMTLP. And that's what I wanted to highlight there. We all know they have it, but who is going to be the broker? And I know that a lot of you watch, I know that a lot of you watch Terry, uh, and you're getting your information there, but I do have some, some viewers that watch me that don't watch Terry or don't watch money management. So it's important for me to get this information out, <coughs> whether it's, uh, you know, through my little highlight clips or whatever, just so those that don't know that we're getting much closer to this getting resolved. Uh, we finally have a broker that admitted to not having the illegal shares that they've been saying right along for over a year now that they have. This is the first domino of many dominoes that are going to start falling, guys. For those of you that haven't figured that out yet, just so you know, we're getting closer and closer. Plus, there's all those talks about a settlement, which I think is going to be unfair no matter how we look at it. They get to choose what my share sells for? 
It doesn't sound fair right off the bat, does it? But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, listen to Drew Diligence on X on the uh, space calls. He's got a lot of good views there. Um, you know, but it's definitely worth listening to. I know we all want our money right away. I, I especially do. But uh, listen to Drew on X on those space calls. He's got a lot of great concepts on that. All right, let's finish off a little bit here. Uh, with uh, Terry. Ugh. That first admits it. Now, for me, got to cover up my info there. I have already received confirmation uh, up here. If you see confirmation from AST that my trade station shares. I forget the exact date that I put in the request, but I actually have a video up here somewhere in the channel. Uh, probably four or five months, six months back, whatever it was. And the representative told me that uh, they go in batches. And mine did come a few months later, and uh, this was postmarked, if you can see here, October 26, I believe is what it was, October 26, is when AST uh, mailed it to me. So I got confirmation my shares are in AST from TradeStation, but it appears shortly after that uh, TradeStation they ran out. short. Yep. Um, so let's get in here to the evidence back in They ran out. We knew that was going to happen. Let's see what MMTLP and Alley Trading Secrets. Oh, jeez. Well, we got like a 20 second commercial on that one. <laughs> it wasn't a commercial when I set it up so that we could watch a little bit of what Alley had to say. But his, uh, he had uh, something very interesting to say about the legalities of it or something. Here. Oh, there it is. Miss it, Skip. Ugh. All right. Oh, remember, Moco. Skip. Hey, where? Oh, I went all the way to the beginning. That's not good. For 2024. Uh, yeah, we wanted to hear this. His post is also a recording there from Trade Station confirming from junk those savvy. details. So let's have a look at uh, the potential legal implications of this. And what Mark has stated here is if you sue Trade Station, uh, tra sorry, if you sue Trade Station for fraud and securities fraud, then the world becomes your oyster through discovery. So that obviously could open the Pandora's box. And he states here, he's sure there's a lot of pearls out there waiting to be found and uh, obviously if you are suing you can also sue under state securities laws as well so I do expect uh, cases to go forward on this and he's followed up by saying maybe now is a time to stand on their throats and force them to face the reality of what happened and suing the trade station is likely the first step they have no immunity uh, no privy of contract see if there's an arbitration clause and you can get around it for actual fraud which I, I believe fraud would come under uh, criminal law as well seems to me if they have loaned out your shares made money on them and can't recall those shares they cannot just say we well you took the risk that's how the cookie crumbles and the reason for that is they are in clear breach of contract so take the time to hammer to the they committed fraud and they admitted it that's all you need you know now where are we at are we going to file suit i don't know those things still take a long time and then my attorney steals half my money or 40 percent or 30 percent if they're a good lawyer i don't know I still don't know exactly where we are, so, you know, make sure you're subscribing and hitting the like button so we can pass the message on. And as soon as I know what path we should take, I'm going to let you know. In the meantime, make all the comments that you want down in the comment section. Um, I'll answer what I can, and it's always good. It opens, up, it opens up the whole thing so that we can all discuss this a little further, maybe get some more information out of the people making comments, right? All right, pass it all on, MMTLP. You know, thanks, my meta fam. Love y'all, and peace out. Yeah.